My Google Classroom. Video number five, latest updates to Google Classroom. So, to start the year off on the right foot, Google introduced updates to help you stay organized and revealing a fresh new look for the classroom you know and love. Check them out. Number one, drag and drop on the classroom page. Now you can drag and drop entire topics and individual classroom items, rearranging them easily on the page. You can drag an entire topic to a specific location on the classroom page or drag individual items within and in between topics. Number two, classroom has a fresh new look and feel. Among the changes, you'll see a more intuitive design flow, plus a new approach to shape, color, iconography, and typography on both the web and mobile app. And finally, they are introducing 78 new themes with custom illustrations, ranging from history to math, to hair design, to photography. Now you can customize your classroom more than ever before. Number three, updated training and support. In the Teacher Center, you'll find updated videos in their first day of classroom training with the new designs and features they rolled out in 2018. While they're at it, they built a new and improved help center combined with our community and product forum. Number four, post questions. You can post questions to your class and allow students to have discussions by reposting to each other's answers or not, depending on the setting you choose. Number five, reuse assignments. Now you can reuse assignments, announcements, or questions from any one of your classes or any class you co-teach, whether it's from last year or last week. Once you choose what you'd like to copy, you'll also be able to make changes before you post or sign it. Number six, improve calendar integration. Now all assignments with a due date will be automatically added to your class calendar and kept up to date. You'll be able to view your calendar from within Classroom or on Google Calendar, where you can manually add class events like field trips or guest speakers. Number seven, bump a post. Sticking posts on blogs, tweets, or Facebook updates has long been a thing. Now you can do it on Google Classroom as well by moving any post to the top. Number eight, attach a Google Forum to a post. With this feature, teachers and students will be able to attach Google Forums from Drive to Post and Assignments and get a link in Classroom to easily view the answers. Number nine, YouTube functionality. Recently, they launched advanced YouTube settings for all Google apps, domains as an additional service. These settings give apps admins the ability to restrict the YouTube videos viewable for sign-in users as well as sign-out users on networks managed by the admin. Stay organized in 2020 with these new features in Classroom. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.